Vertex BD includes a full set of drafting tools available on the drafting tab. We have functions for drawing lines, dimensions, constraints, hatches, and text. In this video, I'll use the dimension functions to add some dimensions on our floor plan. But first, I'm going to hide the constraints that we have visible by putting them on a different layer. So I'm going to select a constraint to set my selection filter, then hit Control A, and that'll select all constraints. Then I can come up to the top and select the Properties tab. This is showing the properties of the constraints that I have selected. I want to set those constraints to all be on layer 92, and then hit Escape. Now we can select a layer group that does not include layer 92 or just simply turn off that one layer. So we can go to the select layers from list, find layer 92, and just turn that one layer off. I'll go back to the drafting tab, and under dimensions, we have a whole slew of different types of dimensions we can add. The first one is just a single dimension that you can add between any two lines or points. We have the chain dimension, baseline, continuous baseline, etc. We also have some automatic dimensions. Dimensioning a floor plan, for example, allows you to set up a group of dimensions to the exterior, interior walls, doors and windows, and any columns, if any. I'm going to turn off the exterior walls change the interior walls to dimension to the center line and I'm going to activate the center dimension to doors and windows. We can also turn off columns since we don't have any in this example and click OK. So now I'm going to box across this front wall to select these elements, hit confirm, select the left end of the wall as my zero point confirm and then I'm going to locate this group of dimensions a little bit down and left click. I'm going to repeat the process use the same configuration select the right wall confirm If you prefer to dimension the layout manually using the regular chain and baseline functions, we can delete these dimensions and go through the process using those functions. So I'll start by selecting chain. At this point, before we start dimensioning, we can modify the parameters, such as the inch format, the end markers and extension line lengths as well as the layer, pen weight, text font, text height, color. We also have some presets so all of these parameters can be tied to predefined property sets. I'll select the exterior framing corner as my start point. We'll select the center of the opening and I'm going to locate this dimension and then continue to dimension the other center points of the openings. Now I can confirm, select a new start point, a new second point,
and I'm going to force that dimension to be vertical by hitting this Y button on the secondary toolbar. Then confirm, and then we can do the total dimension. We can also select a dimension that's already been placed and modify its location. You can also right click on any grips and grab points to get additional functionality.